Hello friends, my name is Kumar and welcome back to my channel Kumar Programming. Today from the JavaScript interview question answer series, we are going to cover a very important question as what is type coercion in JavaScript? Mostly we all know about the coercion but interviewer ask in a different way so most of the people are not able to answer. So today we are going to learn about coercion in detail and after that we will have a practical demonstration to understand it thoroughly. Now let's see what is type coercion. Type coercion in JavaScript refers to the automatic conversion of value from one data type to another data type during certain operation. So basically in JavaScript we are converting one data type to another data type that is known as a type coercion. And we all know that JavaScript is a dynamically typed language. Type are getting defined dynamically which means that the variable can hold value of any type and the type of the variable can change during the execution of the program. If we can define a variable as an integer, further that we can consider the same variable as a string as well. So basically there are two types of coercion. One is implicit and second one is explicit. Implicit is something it's happening internally. The conversion between the data types is happening internally. And in other side, explicit coercion, we have to explicitly change the one data type to another data type. Now let's understand with the code snippet. So if you see here, here I have created a variable num where I have assigned a value as 5 here. And then again, I have created a variable as a string where I have assigned value as a string value as 10. Okay. And then after that, I tried to add both of the number and a string. So here, this number is going to be converted automatically, implicitly into a string. And then it's going to merge both of the string and return the result and here we will get the output as a 510 that is a string type okay so at this place data type number data type is going to be converted implicitly in the form of a string and then concatenation happen with the with both of the string and result we are getting as a 510 right now on the other side in the explicit coercion is here if you see i have created a variable as a string where i pass the value as 10 now i'm using a parse int method explicitly to convert this string value to number right this 10 is a string and that can be converted into the numbers so here if you see i'm getting a number 10 now let's see with the practical demonstration let's flip to the visual studio in our previous video we have learned about hosting variable hosting and function hosting and also we have seen what are the limitation we have for the variable hosting and function hosting and also we have covered temporal dead zone now this coercion is also belongs to the basic so i'll create one more file over here in the basic let me close the other files from here inside the basic folder i'll create one more file as coercion.js here i'm going to use the same code which i have used in the code snippet and i'll give the reference for the coercion file here and here I'll basic coercion.js. Okay. Now let's go to the coercion file here. Here you can see I have taken a variable of number 5 and then I have taken another variable of a string. And then after that, I'm trying to add both of the value number and a string and I'm getting result as a 510 because this number is getting converted into the string implicitly and then both of the string are getting merged and we are getting result as a 510. Now let's run this and here you can see we are getting output as a 510. If you can check the type of this result it's a string type okay so here we are having a implicit conversion or implicit coercion okay so let me mention here implicit coercion and now let's have an example for explicit coercion or explicit conversion so here here i'm using the same code so if you see here i have taken a variable str and passing a value 10 as a string and then after that i am converting this string value to the integer explicitly okay by using our parse int method and then i'm printing this value and we are getting the value as 10 and if you'd like to check the type of this so we can check the type as well type of number and it's going to be a number okay now let's run this see here we are getting an output as a 10 and the type we are getting as a number so here we are using the explicit coercion and here we are using the implicit coercion or we can say as an implicit conversion and explicit conversion 
So friends, I hope that you will be able to answer now to the interviewer about what is cohesion and what is type of cohesion. Okay. If still you are having any doubt, please comment me and definitely I'll get back to you on that as soon as possible. At the end of this video, friends, I have a very humble request to all of you. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all of my upcoming videos. Your each and every subscription gives me a lot of moral support and confident to make the videos like this for you. And friends, if, if you want to make a video on a specific topic, on a specific interview questions, please let me know in the comment section and I'll try to come up with that question. So that's all for the day. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and keep learning.